What's up, everybody? This is Big Sarge back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the similarities and differences between the 17 Charlie MOS and the 25 Delta MOS. So let's get into it. You're thinking about joining the Army, or maybe you're already in. And you've got tech skills, you like computers, you like problem solving. Maybe you've even dabbled in cybersecurity or networking on your own. And now you're hearing about the Army jobs, 17 Charlie and 25 Delta. And they both sound very cybery. They both sound elite. But exactly what's the difference between a 17 Charlie and a 25 Delta? Are they basically the same thing with different names? Or are they two totally different beasts? Well, we're going to go ahead and tackle this and break it all down in plain English. All right, so let's start with the 17 Charlie or the Cyber Operations Specialist. So think of the 17 Charlie as the Army's Cyber Ninja. They are the offensive and defensive warriors operating keyboards rather than rifles. And their primary focus is as follows. So they conduct offensive cyber operations. So think of ethical hacking, red team operations, and defensive cyber warfare. So think of blue team operations. They fall up under the combat support category. They get trained at Fort Eisenhower in Georgia. They got to have a top secret SCI clearance to become one of them. And the cool factor is you're essentially the Army's hacker. You're either defending networks or you're executing cyber missions against adversaries. So if the 17 Charlie is the ninja, then the 25 Delta is the digital bodyguard. And these soldiers are primarily focused on defensive cybersecurity within Army networks. Their primary focus, they secure, monitor, and defend Army networks and systems. They're part of the Signal Corps. They also get trained at Fort Eisenhower, and you have to have a secret clearance or higher. And their cool factor is you are the digital shield actively hunting down cyber threats and locking down vulnerabilities. All right, so before we dive into the differences, let's talk about what these two roles have in common because there is a lot. The first is cybersecurity is at the core. So both MOSs are deeply rooted in cyber defense. Whether you're red teaming or blue teaming, you're protecting army networks, data, systems, and critical infrastructure. There's a lot of high level training. So neither of these roles are entry level fluff. They're going to train hard and you're going to study hard. The Army puts a lot of resources into preparing you for the digital battlefield. So you're going to learn tools like Wireshark, Kali Linux, Splunk, Metasploit, Nmap, and much more. And you're going to understand the cyber kill chain, malware analysis, and network forensics. You're also going to need to get a security clearance and you're going to need a top secret clearance for 17 Charlie and a secret clearance at the bare minimum to be a 25 Delta. That means you're going to have to go through background checks, interviews, and you're going to have to have a squeaky clean record. Also, there's career boosting certifications, so you'll have a chance to earn certifications that pay civilians thousands of dollars for CompTIA Security Plus, Certified Ethical Hackers, Cisco Certifications, CISSP, Network Plus, Pen Test, and even the CYSA Plus or the Cybersecurity Analyst Plus certification. And these certs, they translate well into civilian jobs when your enlistment is up. And also both of these MOSs are for STEM minded soldiers. So both roles, they attract and build tech minded individuals. So if you like coding, cybersecurity, hacking challenges or IT infrastructure, then you'll fit right in either way. Now let's go over the differences between the two MOSs. And here's the biggest difference. And this is a game changer. So 17 Charlie, they are both offensive and defensive. So you may be tasked with penetration testing, red teaming, or even cyber warfare operations targeting enemy systems. So essentially you're trained to play both sides where you attack and defend 25 Delta. They are primarily defensive, so you're focused on protecting networks, implementing firewalls, patching systems, and responding to cyber incidents, so essentially you are the cyber guardian. Now let's talk about how you could become either MOS. So when it comes to 17 Charlie, you can join the Army directly into this MOS if you qualify. It's part of the initial enlistment options. When it comes to 25 Delta, you have to reclass into this role. That means you've already served in another MOS, usually an IT related MOS like 25 Bravo, and then you make the jump to 25 Delta. So if you're brand new and looking for a cyber MOS right out of high school or college, then 17 Charlie is your path. If you're already in the Army and you want to level up your cyber game, then 25 Delta is your ticket. 
And then there's the aspect of combat roles and support roles. So while both are non-combat MOSs, 17 Charlie is considered a combat support role and operates closer to military intelligence and cyber warfare missions. 25 Delta, on the other hand, is part of the Signal Corps, which means your duties are more aligned with IT and communication infrastructure defense, and you're likely embedded in units managing real-time communications, not cyber defense. And then there's the aspect of what are you going to do after you get out the military? So let's talk about the exit strategy because you're not going to be in the army forever. When it comes to 17 Charlies, you're extremely marketable to the NSA, the CIA, the DHS, and private security firms. You've got red team skills, malware reverse engineering, and hands-on cyber mission experience. So think about being a penetration tester, a cyber threat analyst, or an offensive security engineer. When it comes to 25 Deltas, you're prime for roles like security operations center analysts, network security admins, cybersecurity engineers, or incident responders. Your skills are incredibly relevant for corporate IT security teams and government agencies. Now, both pay extremely well on the outside. The 17 Charlie roles, they tend to lean more into elite cybersecurity fields with higher starting salaries, especially if you worked in offensive cyber operations. And another key difference is the work environment. So 17 Charlie soldiers, they may be assigned to cyber protection teams or they operate in secure facilities or even support cyber mission forces and tactical environments. Some of them travel and some of them sit in what is called a SCIF or a sensitive compartmented information facility. And then when it comes to 25 Delta soldiers, they are more often found in network operations centers or a NOC, command posts and IT infrastructure units. And you're likely to work in a more structured, IT heavy setting. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what it takes to qualify for each MOS. So when it comes to the 17 Charlie, you got to take the ASVAB test like everybody else, but you got to get a GT score of 110 and the ST score of 112. You also have to be a U.S. citizen and you cannot hold dual citizenship. You must be eligible for a top secret security clearance. You have to attend basic training. You got to go to AIT and you may do some additional training at the Army Cyber School for other advanced courses. When it comes to the 25 Delta, you got to get a 105 on the GT score on the ASVAB exam. This is a reclass MOS only, so you got to be at least an E4 through E6 and have experience in an IT related MOS like the 25 Bravo. Also, you must meet the DOD 8570.01-M requirements. Basically, you need to have your Security Plus certification. Also, you're going to have to go through AIT or a 12-week training course at Fort Eisenhower, and you must complete prerequisite IT training or have equivalent experience. So with all of that said, which MOS should you pick? Well, that depends on a few things. So if you are brand new to the Army, then go 17 Charlie if you are eligible. It's prestigious, it's high demand, and it opens doors to elite cybersecurity work. If you're already in the Army and you want to shift into cyber, then 25 Delta is your path, especially if you're coming from the 25 Bravo MOS or another tech-related MOS. If you want to hack stuff legally, then 17 Charlie gives you that red team offensive cyber capability. If you want to defend and secure systems, the 25 Delta just lets you become the Army's network bodyguard. Now, if you're looking for civilian job opportunities, well, both are excellent for your resume, but 17 Charlie, this might get you into the door faster with federal agencies and high paying security firms. So to wrap all this up, the Army cyber branches are no joke. Whether you're a 17 Charlie launching digital attacks on adversaries or a 25 Delta hardening army networks against threats, you're part of one of the most cutting edge fields in the military. And don't be surprised if you end up working alongside each other. 17 Charlies and 25 Deltas, they often collaborate on cyber missions, one playing offense and the other fortifying defense. So here's the bottom line. 17 Charlie is the tip of the cyber sphere. 25 Delta is the cyber shield. Both are warriors in the digital age. So if you got a love for tech and you want to do meaningful work that goes beyond pushing paper, either one could change your life. So choose wisely as you decide how you want to serve on the Army's cyber battlefield.